YouTube, Colm Ted Need. Here in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to run a simulated version of Android on your iDevice. So, getting started, you just want to make sure you have a jailbroken device. Uh, the latest version is uh, Green Poison RC5, I believe, or RC6. Just go to greenpoison.com and you can jailbreak on tethered on 4.2.1. Uh, when you get started, just launch Cydia and then go to search and then just click fake. Oh, uh, or it's called OS Faker. So here you go. You, there's also a beta and insanely uh, repo, but you're just gonna go, want to go to Big Boss. You don't have to add any sources because it comes with Cydia. So here it is. Just install it in the corner. Just modify uh, for me, but you don't need to worry about that. Just ins install it, and then on your home screen, you should have this little loader with the little Android guy, robots. So just click on it, and it'll open right up. So the first thing you can see is it kind of looks like Android. You'll see the screen first. It says tap to begin system loader 1.0. Um, if you click the eye, it'll just show about uh, the devs did a really nice job with this tweak. So just click tap to begin. Um, it's simulated Android 2.3. Android is components of the images. Um, you guys just can read this. It really doesn't run Android. It's just more of a simulated like show your friends and trick people so just starting off you know it kind of looks like android i'll just go through some of the go through some of the features it has so here's your power button we'll just go back to tap to begin screen and just says the android 2.3 message um here's your apps it's obviously not like going to be a real version of android because um that'd be kind of violating google's rules and it and um, like on the older iPhone 2G and iPod Touch 1G, you could actually flash the kernel and use, a, I think, a tweak called iBoot. And you could do a boot iOS and Android 2.2 or 2.1 on your device. But you obviously can't do that on the iPhone 4 or iPod Touch 4 because it requires a flash of the kernel. And you could end up with a brick device. So I'll just go, go through some of the features of this. Here's your web browser. I just loaded up Gizmodo earlier. So it's pretty functional, it's just basically like a skin for Safari. But here you just have your YouTube, Facebook, SMS. The SMS actually works, but of course it's an iPod Touch so you don't actually have SMS and data and all that. Um, the iPod and iPad do not support. So actually if you have an iPhone and you have the texting plan, you can actually use this to text in this. Um, you just have Gmail, Calculator, uh, 36, yeah, that everything works there. You have SMS, you have calculator, you have Gmail. They're all like web apps, kind of. You have Facebook. Um, here's just all your apps. You have a browser, you have Gmail, calculator, Facebook, paint. Uh, paint's just a little one kind of paint thing. It just you can't really have many options. Uh, YouTube. It, uh, it just loads it to their mobile site. Twitter, it's just the same thing. Um, you just have to wait a minute. It can be a little bit slow. Um, SMS, I covered that. Notes, it has its own like kind of native notes. You just tap to write. It doesn't have very many options. Very simple. But the devs obviously put a lot of work into this as is, so they don't really need to invest um, more time to fine tune every single thing. Contacts, I'm not going to open that. Photos, the photos you took on your iPod. You can also use the camera right here. So. There you go, you can see my hand. So we're not gonna go too in depth with that. So yeah, this is um, kind of a simulated version of Android. You can trick your friends. You obviously really can't use it as a normal um, phone, like a mobile phone, because uh, you can only really use the SMS. So guys, it's been Colton Tenation here with a quick look at the simulated version of Android. Be sure to subscribe if you like my content and check out my social links in the description below. Okay guys, thanks and have a great day.